love and marriage isn't meant to just be a self-fulfillment project. It's meant to be a self-gift. So I want to talk about if the one even exists, that there's one person that's meant for you and you have to spend your whole life in this world trying to find them, trying to locate where they are, and then and only then you will be happy. I'll never forget, I was in a school, I was in a classroom giving a talk on love and relationships. One of the girls raised their hands and she said, so is there like a soulmate for everyone? The teacher who was in the classroom, who was a little bit older than me and he was much wiser than me, he said, there isn't one person that you're supposed to marry, but the person that you choose becomes the one. And I remember that girl was very disappointed by that answer. We live in a culture that is so hyper-focused on the romance, on the perfect love story, that we can begin to think that there's one person out there who's meant to fulfill us. But that actually wouldn't be the reality and the truth of what love and marriage is. Love and marriage isn't meant to just be a self-fulfillment project. It's meant to be a self-gift. I think that there are things that we can do to find a suitable person, but then a suitable person becomes the suitable person, the one, when you commit your life to them in marriage. Finding the one is about you choosing someone, someone choosing you, and you both moving forward together. You know, it's not easy to be a young person and to desire love, to desire marriage, but to not feel like that's moving at all in your life. I'm sorry if you're sitting in the ache of wanting a person in your life, wanting to discern, wanting to find the one. There is not necessarily a formula that you can follow to find that in your own life. But I do think trusting in the Lord, trusting, committing your life to Him day after day, and opening your hands to whatever He gives you as a gift is the best way to start. And ultimately, it's important to remember that there actually is the one, and it may not be the one that you're thinking of. God fulfills every desire of your heart. God, more than the one, more than your spouse, will be the person when another human person fails you who will never fail you. God ultimately is the one. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and be sure to check us out online at thecultureproject.org.